Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program with Jonathan. Today, it's space plane time. Yeah, so I've worked oh, for the last 10, uh, maybe 10 to 15 hours on this brand semi new um, space plane using the um, space plane plus parts, which were added to Kerbal Space Program stock in version point to five and yeah so I'll just hold close in the docking port um, so I have experimented with a lot as you might be able to tell I guess it's like 15 hours I may have just said or possibly not and I am loving this plane and we're gonna take it somewhere um, it has in it, it, the game uh, point two five has also added um, cargo bays but what's in the cargo bay is a surprise and so um, we will launch we will the mission profile is a is a standard SSTO or sort of well SSSTO sort of single stage to orbit because there's another stage here um, extra fuel um, a standard profile for that so we are gonna fly up to altitude to the very limit of the atmospheric oxygen at high altitude then the engines, these rapier engines, will switch from oxygen consuming to oxidizer consuming. We'll switch from jet engine function basically to rocket. And then we will use that um, increased thrust and, of course, increased fuel consumption to hopefully skip out of the atmosphere and get into orbit. From there, we are going to. Well, I'll wait. I'll, I'll leave that. That'd be a surprise, too. Um, I'll tell you when, obviously, when we get there, when we get to orbit. So, first of all, let's, um, let's get this plane to orbit, shall we? The plane's takeoff speed is about 130 meters per second. Um, it's pretty cool. I've done a lot of testing. I did a couple of different variants, but... This one is by far the most successful. Hopefully the Kerbals were joined by Ronlo and Jetsby today. Hopefully they don't die. But we shall see. Yeah. It's going to be a day launch, I think it is. Yep, daytime. Yep. So Ronlo and Jetsby in the front. I've got a nicely posted here with some hotkeys. So we want to disable one of the... Okay, so we want three. Cabin lights are on. Brilliant. And bring up this. Just gonna get the map ready. Um, and our weight. 40 tons this plane is, that's not light. Okay, we are ready for ignition in four, three, two, uh,
Excellent. Now we can coast up to space, hopefully. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Let's have a look. Yeah, we shouldn't lose too much of that. Oh, that's always a stressful bit. Can usually go one of two ways. A, you get to space. B, you don't quite make it. And there's nothing worse than not quite making it. The closest I got, I think I was like a like four seconds of maximum thrust. All it was all I really needed to get into space, and I didn't have it. So yay, we're not going to be that close this time. Next, I'm just setting up my orbital insertion burn, I guess it's called. I'm just going to circularize the orbit so that we're not going to slip back into the atmosphere and have to return to the runway. Because that would suck. It's like a 45 minute flight or something, 30 minute flight back there. From here to there. Yeah, no. We ain't going back. So... Bum, 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 dum, 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 dum. Ninety something by seventy something. That'll do just fine. So five hundred delta V. Hopefully, I've got that. Um, Sixteen seconds at maximum thrust. Have we got it, Ronla? Have we got it, Jetsui? We will have to find out. Yeah. Fingers crossed. That's for sure. But yay for space, I don't know, ooh, there is a pretty perch picture, hold on, we got time, yeah, ooh, 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 stop that, and three, looks like it's pooping out the moon, doesn't it, yeah, moon poop, alright, <laughs> so just gonna pitch down at our maneuver node, because of course the planet's still all rotating and we are going around the planet, so it's gonna be over there. 555 meters per second delta V. Not bad. We are now in space. But I don't have space music on. I don't get to hear any space whales. Wow. I'm not going to do a space whale impersonation. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. Cool. So. 58 seconds to burn. Um, well not really, because we're going to burn 8 seconds either side of the center of the node. So it is not that far. I would time accelerate, but it's pretty close. So I won't. The air intake is still closed. Yes, good. Not that it makes any difference in space, but yeah, you know, it's good for things to be tidy. Okay, 35 seconds. Um, RCS on. SS on. So 20 seconds till burn. I do like these internal lights, they're really cool. That's some nice design. It's also good to you know, see. See? Mwahaha! Ha. Alright. 16 seconds. And. Burning. We're on to main engine totally. It'll be a little bit late, but we should still make the space. We've got about Oh, I hope so. Should have through the fuel rather quickly. engines, RCS off, SCS off, boop, and so, let's see what we, how we did, AP of 115 kilometers, PE of 76-ish, make up your mind, 77 kilometers in space, that's space everyone, we are now in orbit, good work, Ronald Jetsby and me, so what next, well, we're going to need to refuel this thing if we really want to go somewhere, because we've only got... 96 units of liquid fuel left. Um, so I shall see you guys shortly once I've launched a refueler. And hopefully we should get this thing refueled. 
Uh, and then you get to see where we're going and what's in the surprise bay. See you soon.